Okay, Gemini, this one is for you. Welcome, this is Terra Illumination with your September 2017 Loving Relationship Report for you, Gemini. Okay, so people have been asking about, you know, doing separate playlists for love and relationships for people who are coupled up or in relationship, but also for singles. And <clears throat> so far we're not doing for singles, but it's it seems like a really smart thing to do. So we're probably going to have to do it at some point. And you can interpret this report for singles if you want, if you allow and understand that you're always radiating the energy of relationship anyway. So that might help you, okay? And then you could see the other party. This is going to be you over here. This is going to be the other party over here. And even if they're not with you right now, because you're radiating certain vibrations and in the very purest sense, uh, through the laws of attraction, you attract back to you that which you are radiating. So if you were pulsing out this signal here, then you could get a response from the equivalent match over here that might work in relationship. Okay. So just like everyone else, Gemini, you're coming out of the eclipses straight here into uh, September. And it might feel a little bit uh, strange and weird because it's that way for all of us right now. We're all on the same bus going through this massive evolutionary leap starting here most, of, most effectively in uh, September, even though we've been building up and dealing with it for quite a while these last few months. August was the pivotal month with all the eclipses, but now we're actually in the wake. We're actually in the flow. All right. So <clears throat> we're shuffled. Okay. Cards were already pre-shuffled, but I take it right up to the very last second. Now you've done this before, Gemini, I'm sure. Thank you for choosing Terra Illumination. You know the drill. You're going to read for your sun and moon and rising, squish it all together, make up your own story, okay? We'll do the best that we can here for you right now, whether it's your sun, moon, or rising, okay? So we cut, this would be your energy, okay? This would be the other, all right? And then we're gonna look deeper into you over here, deeper into the other over here, and then into the uh, relationship itself. So can you see here that we have a crucible? It's a cup. It's a bowl shape. Now, a crucible is a very, very uh, sturdy, uh, like, container in which uh, very, very uh, challenging uh, alchemical reactions can occur. It's, uh, they use them in laboratories and stuff for doing very, very uh, challenging reactions. And it's, it's the same thing in relationships. The crucible is the structure in which the relationship can exist. So if you have a very powerful crucible, a good solid structure, then you can have an enduring relationship where both parties can intimate and separate to the maximum degree and still be intact, still maintain your identity, they retain their identity, but you get to share the experience together. That's what happens in a really lovely relationship as opposed to just, you know, people relating. Hello, hello, I love you. What can I get out of you? What are you trying to get out of me? Da, 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 da. No, it's much more uh, in a healthy way. You're conducting everything through the relationship itself. Okay, so here would be like the momentum coming through September for you, Gemini, with your relationship situation. We're going to look at the bottom card in a moment. That's what I think of as the weather that permeates the whole thing. And you're not going to live at mercy of the weather. You're going to make the best of it, okay? If it's good weather or bad weather, you're not going to... If it's bad weather, you're not going to feel bad. If it's good weather, you're not just going to go loopy, crazy, happy. And then if it changes to bad, then you go sad. It's not, it's not going to do that. We're not going to let you do that, okay, Gemini? You're going to own your own life and happiness regardless of what we see down here. Positive or supportive or challenging, whatever it might be. I know I've slipped up on something. I can't remember what I was going to tell you, but we'll re hopefully remember later. Anyway, here we go. So Gemini, with September coming in, you might be kind of um, all gung-ho, ready to, like, let's say, start calling out the truth, like, oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. Uh, now I understand this. Now I understand that. And I can see where things are going. And I can see how I'm evolving and what's happening in my relationship, in my life and myself. And that's really awesome. And it's uh, very enthusiastic energy here with the Page of Swords. But the thing is that 
It's almost like the energy of whistleblowers or vigilantes where you mean well, but sometimes when you start calling out yourself or calling out other people for what you might perceive as errors of their ways or uh, variations, let's call it variations of the truth, <laughs> then they, sometimes it can backfire because a lot of people don't want to be disruptive. The Page of Swords energy can be quite disruptive, even though it means well, okay? So anyway, we're not going to let that own the reading. We're going to let that be in the background and you're going to just deal with it. All right, Gemini? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, did I say something about singles? Anyway, never mind. Um, if you do want to read this for singles, you can just treat this as the energy of a potential partner. OK, as opposed to the energy of an existing partner. Try and look at it that way, if that helps you at all in the time being. So, Gemini, what's going on with you? OK, you're locking it down here. This is almost like an energy of you, Gemini, uh, desiring to get yourself really, really organized in such a way that it's like getting a new computer or with the Hierophant here, it feels to me it's like you, Jim and I, are determined here in September, either by your own volition or whether it's pressure from the external side or pressure from the individuals in the relationship to uh, do, to, to really, really formalize what is happening with you now in this new evolution, kind of the way it's unfolding into Gemini Mark II. So it might mean that you are like deliberately looking for ways to like get reflection from a significant other, which will help you to clearly like document almost like your own code of commandments, so to speak, how things are going to be for you going forward here. Going to lock it down, formalize it in um, to the highest standards possible that you can do for yourself, and then making a really strong, determined decision to live by the code. Create your own code, determine your own new code, and then live by that code in a very authentic uh, way. In other words, you would not be swayed by everyone else's operating systems or everyone else thinking, well, Gemini, you should be doing this, or you should be doing that, or why are you with this person, or why aren't you with that person? No, you're going to figure it all out for yourself. It's almost like you're going to deliberately be a whistleblower on yourself, call out what really, really, really uh, works for you. Things like absolute truths, irrevocable truths, as opposed to impressions or conditioning or uh, automatic uh, habit type behaviors that you might have been living with for a long time. No, it's different now. It's almost, again, like getting a new computer with a brand new operating system and new softwares and new downloads. And you're going to have to go in and learn each one and authenticate each one and sign off it. You know how you do in computers. You, you set the I agree and I accept the terms and conditions. Click. And then you move on to the next thing that you have to do, like installing new downloads, installing new softwares, installing new browsers, installing all that kind of stuff, and creating a whole new code that works for you. Okay, Gemini? I know it doesn't sound very romantic. This is supposed to be a love and relationship reading, but still, we have to deal with, with, with what we're being presented. So let's look at the other. So with the other, it may not be anything to do with you at all in kind of a romantic sense, Gemini, but you other might be sensing the relationship dynamic as a golden opportunity for themselves as well, because they might be resonating very, very strongly with you, thinking and feeling like, wow, Gemini is really getting their act together. Wow, that's so, so cool. This could be really good for me, the other party. Wow, this is exciting. Maybe I'll have a chance to sort of do my own version of my own upgrade too. And maybe I can learn a lot from Gemini because they're already determined to make that happen. Okay, so that doesn't, again, doesn't look very romantic, but all sorts of things happen inside the context of a loving relationship, which can be very, very loving, especially if both parties are there deliberately making themselves available to each other for your own spiritual health and healing and evolution for yourself and for the other, for themselves and for the other, okay? So it's mutually healing. It's a mutually self-supportive type of relationship, but it's being done 
in a very, very deliberate, conscious level. You're not just stumbling around here, Gemini. It's not like, oh, I just met you. I think you're really cool. I like you. Uh, let's, ho let's hook up. And, oh, that went really well. Well, why don't we, um, you know, formalize this? And, you know, maybe we'll start dating and getting engaged and move in together. Maybe get married and all that stuff. You kind of look okay. You kind of look okay. And, yeah, like, we kind of have similar, you know, things in common. Awesome. No, that's not what's happening here. Okay, Gemini, it's much more of a highly ordained situation where you're taking this very seriously now. And it's luckily you're having that opportunity in the context of a relationship with someone who actually might be really compatible for you. And actually, get they might even be getting like turned on by this whole process. You know, like it's exciting. It's exciting to live in the context of... A loving relationship where both parties are there for each other. Like, I've got your back. You've got my back. That's awesome. Let's celebrate. Let's intimate, okay? And then you say, wow, that was awesome. Thank you. Let's separate. I'm going to go back and be me, my Gemini, taking care of my stuff. You're going to go back and be you, doing what you got to do with your awesome stuff. And that's great. And I'll see you later, all right? That would be the healthy approach. Let's have a look deeper down inside of you, Gemini, what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So, Gemini, with the Magician card here, what I'm feeling is I'm taking it in a positive note as opposed to a fearful note. Sometimes when we look deep inside ourselves and others, we often stumble upon all our fears and shadows and things that we're trying to cover up as we, as we try to live our lives with a brave face, pretending that everything is wonderful and going just fine. Now, my feeling is that that's not what's happening here, Gemini. My feeling is that deep inside of you, you are aware of what's happening. It's like by making deliberate, conscious uh, decisions to integrate your life in a very orderly way that works for you. And it's, it's absolute truth. It's not subjective truth. It's not stuff that you've just like assumed because it's what everyone else is doing. You are creating your own code of existence. And in so doing, what you're finding out is that deep down inside, that makes you much more capable of manifesting your life in a much more effective, realistic, genuine, honest way than ever before. And realizing in the context of this relationship, it's actually quite supportive because the relationship itself um, seems to be very conducive to your own evolution, so to speak, when uh, you have this kind of energy in the other person. So that can make you feel very empowered, where, like, it doesn't mean you have to go, you know, jumping around like a crazy wild person, just, you know, waving your magic wand, pretending that you can make anything happen anyway, anytime, any how you like for you. No, it's much more, <clears throat> let's say, much more of a measured kind of energy where Gemini, this is very stabilizing for you. Because um, sometimes, because you're so active, mentally active, a lot of the times where, you know, it can be hard to kind of lock things down and, you know, stick to the code. But what I'm feeling here for you, Gemini, is that's kind of what's happening. And once you realize what happens when you take all that Gemini power and you, let's say, get a real handle on it, where you really learn the code, so to speak, learn how to operate your operating system, it really makes you much more effective, much more powerful and in your own life, in your own world. It's not the kind of power that we're abusing or anything. It's the power to like really be your true self, express yourself, become a better listener, become a better communicator, become a better speaker, become a better learner, become a better educator, a better... Um, business person, the way you, the business of life, okay, a better partner. You can operate uh, and manifest a healthier, better relationship by your own volition, according to a new higher code, a new um, higher standard of living, Hi not standard of living, higher standard of being, okay? It's nothing to do with wealth or money, okay? You can be very happy without having to have uh, the most expensive car in the world. So, that's kind of nice. I'm really happy to see this for you, Gemini. Now, I don't want to forget this because in the background with the Page of Swords here, what I'm sensing is that you might be feeling like 
you know, with the Virgo energy here in September, typically that kind of clashes with Gemini, but I have a feeling the way it's actually working is that it's actually sparking, helping to spark and uh, activate this energy inside of you, upgrading your code and learning how to manifest your power more authentically. And all I'm suggesting is that as you kind of grow into that energy and you found power more and more and more, you don't get carried away with it and think you can do anything you want all the time uh, because just because it's so much fun and exciting to evolve to this next level. And you know what happens a lot of the times when people learn stuff and they have these divine awakenings, they kind of have to tell everybody like, oh gosh, guess what just happened? I just learned how to do this, this, and that, and that, and I can talk to angels, and I know how to do calculus, and uh, I'm having a much better relationship now uh, because I figured all this out. And everyone is looking at you kind of going, uh-huh, well, yeah, that's just the same as anyone else is doing. And you kind of go, oh, well, I thought I just figured it out like you've just discovered something brand new that no one else knew before. The reality is that this is your own private journey and you might be on this wonderful new upgrade yourself, but everyone else is on their other journey and maybe they kind of understand where you're going already or not. But all I'm suggesting is that if you get really excited about wanting to use all this power, that you don't get too carried away and accidentally like, like overstep boundaries and speak out of line, speak out of order, or misinterpret anyone else's energy to suit you because it would be so satisfying to do that. You know, with tremendous power comes great responsibility. So all I'm suggesting is be very, very um, diligent uh, with the energy that you're carrying now, Jim, and I don't get too carried away with it. So you don't hurt yourself or hurt others or let others hurt you, okay? Let's have a look inside of the other, okay? Wow. <sighs> So Gemini with the ten of with the king of pentacles here for the for the this 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 person of interest let's say it can indicate from my perspective is that in the context of this relationship they are realizing the opportunity for them to come into their kind of own abundance their own sovereignty of self where they can get a much more tangible grasp of like who they are as a person in this life in this world and it's happening in such a way that it could not happen outside of this relationship so what i'm feeling here for you gemini is that it's somewhere in your life you're relating with someone who's very significant perhaps a loved one who's really actually enjoying relating with you and getting the sense that they're coming into their own strength uh, becoming much more aware of their own resources, their own gifts, their own talents to the point where they can, it's not like strutting their stuff, but it's enough where they can feel uh, a lot more confident uh, about like being who they really are than ever before. And they, might, they, they could be learning that through reflection from you because of, of you making deliberate decisions to go on your own path of evolution. It's very inspiring for them and as they become inspired and grab the opportunity here in September, it leads them to a much deeper and more profound awareness of their true sovereign self, where they actually do quite, have quite a high level of mastery over their resources, their talents, their gifts, their abilities, their reason for being here on earth, and also that they have a lot to offer because the King of Pentacles is a, a, a master of the material uh, realm, and often has more than enough to share their bounty with their, let's say, empire or kingdom or their domain, a domain with their domain. I'm not talking about internet domain, but domain as your, your world, okay? So for the other over here, they are actually kind of, it looks like they're actually enjoying being who they are in this relationship because it feels rich, it feels satisfying to them to the point where they have enough abundance where they can contribute more uh, to the relationship itself, which benefits you. So it's a very, like, it feels like one of those, what do they call it? A positive feedback loop. A positive feedback loop where the better it gets, the better it gets. And then the better it gets, the better it gets. 
All right, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're going to keep going here. Um, I don't think... Here's the thing, there's a difference because with the other party here, Gemini, please remember this is your reading, Gemini, about your love and relationship situation with a significant other. And it's not a couple's reading. It's not you and another sitting on the desk over there on the other side of the desk and relating to me as like a counselor or something. It's very much your reading from your perspective. So what I'm sensing is that because we're dealing with a significant other who may be really benefiting from this relationship. I don't feel that they are suffering from this kind of energy so much where they'd be tripping over themselves or getting super uh, overexcited about what's happening and how and why. It feels to me because of the King of Pentacles energy here that it's a much more of a stable experience for them. Whereas you could be really, really fired up about the potential good of what's happening here that you're learning in the relationship. So we have two people who seem to be very mutually supportive, very mutually appreciative, who actually are uh, understanding the value of who they are and what they have in the context of relationship. So let's look inside the relationship itself, you know, because it's, an al it's a place where alchemical reactions occur. And what we've just talked about here is happening in the context of the relationship in the safe space of the crucible okay and the crucible can withstand intense pressure while all this is happening because there's a lot of power here okay we're dealing with a lot of power a lot of a lot of energy a lot of power here from both parties both sides so it could be putting a lot of pressure on the relationship itself deep deeply profound good things are happening for you gemini and for the other over here but that's a lot to be going on in one month for one relationship. So let's have a look at the relationship itself. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, this is the six of uh, pentacles. And it's an indication of uh, balancing, getting things really nicely balanced. So it's an understanding of uh, the... The laws of attraction that as you give, so shall you receive. And that in this relationship, it's a really amazing opportunity for both parties to actually experience in real time what it is like to conduct yourselves through a relationship as opposed to directly. In other words, the, 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 the benefits of like investing in the relationship and seeing the value of the relationship itself. In other words, where you can come over to the other and say, you know what, I really dig what's going on here with you and me in this relationship. And they kind of go, you know what, I'm digging it too. I never expected that in September, but hey, look, it's pretty cool. And then you can go, let's take a look. So we've got this awesome relationship. You, Gemini, and the other, you own this relationship. And it's an amazing opportunity for all your values, your strength, your power, your gifts, your talents, your code of operating um, become really tangible resources where they can be, let's say, very evenly appreciated and very evenly shared between the both of you, where it creates a, a foundation that is very well balanced. And so when things seem to shift too much this way or too much that way, both parties will be very aware of it. It's like you'll have a very, very sensitive meter in here, like a balancing meter. What do they call those things like in construction? You know, um, like a level with that little bubble. So this would indicate here that this relationship is a tremendous opportunity for you, Gemini, to understand what happens inside the, the working dynamics of a healthy relationship where you pay very close to the energy of the relationship itself as opposed to always working directly directly and then the relationship itself when you invest in that and keep the harmony and the balance and the, uh, the give and take uh, then it, the, the relationship the crucible becomes stronger and stronger and it allows you to intimate and separate to even more degrees than you ever did before which is very 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 uh, healthy 
uh, for long-term relationships and evolution, okay? Because, it again, it, the better it gets, the better it gets, which is what I'm seeing and sensing here. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Gemini, I'm trying to describe something which feels to me very hard to describe. But it's the understanding. Oh, I don't want to repeat it. I've already said it. It's about having balance. Anyway, this triggered off the thing in my mind that I was going to tell you about earlier, but then I fire, forgot it again. I don't know what it is. I wish I could remember. I'm sorry. I'm. It may not be relevant. It might have just been an ancillary comment, but I was hoping to remember it. Anyway, we're going to look at this. Wow. Okay. So with the King of Wands here, let's have a look. Let's show you here. Here we got the King of Wands. So with the King of Wands here, what can ha what I feel is happening is that this is a an affirmation that this you're in September you've got this wonderful just lovely alignment here where even though you're dealing with Virgo energy of the Sun and which is typically challenging for Gemini's it's actually working in your favor such that this particular relationship situation can now be perceived as really, really empowering for both parties, but and especially for you, Gemini, because this is your reading about you. So the relationship is taking, is going in this direction, but it's a, it's, it's really about you. Where it's again, it's about the positive feedback loop here, where you become more and more empowered. To be who you really really are uh, at the truth at the core at the soul so in other words it's like you gemini are taking full advantage of the situation and the circumstances uh, to call yourself out uh, be aware that you are going to have a chance to do major upgrades downloads reprogramming reformatting of yourself which will take you to much greater abilities to manifest and you're learning and having that experience in a very profound way in the context of this relationship dynamic. And it's very, in other words, the relationship is actually very uh, mutually fulfilling, very mutually satisfying for both parties. So long as you are aware of that, that there is some component somewhere in your life, in your world, Gemini, with a significant relationship where this kind of dynamic is happening. The King of Wands is like, it's just like one of the ultimate leadership cards. It's where... Um, it's like the kind of leader that we love. They leave, they lead by example, not by their word. They live by their word and they live by example. And that can breed tremendous loyalty and trust in their domain. So all the power here, like with this significant other, it could be, lead, be leading you to become empowered yourself. So it's very, very mutually satisfying, uh, relationship okay you can look at the gender these are kings this is a king and okay you can talk about things like the divine masculine I'm talking more about sovereignty of self in the masculine form it doesn't matter the gender here we're not reading genders in any way but the idea of having full mastery of self uh, coming into full leadership uh, where you have the strength Instead of the crown and the robes and the staff being a tremendous burden, they become very, very light. They become something that you're proud to wear that you almost don't even know you're wearing it. And this is very inspiring for other people. It's like, if this is the kind of energy that attracts other people to you. They just want to be near you, be around you because of who you are, not what you do, but who you are and how, you're, and how you are. And... Okay, so there's no love cards in the traditional sense here, but it feels to me like it's a very loving type of situation where we're talking about more like love is as love does, love in action. This is a story that really um, talks about love in action, okay? So I'm not going to say anything more, Gemini. You can figure it out. Reinterpret for yourself. Read for your sun, moon, and rising. You know, you've done this before. I'm going to show this card. I'm going to leave it up for you guys. And then you can reinterpret all of this however you want. Okay? 
So make the best of September, Gemini. It looks like you've got a great opportunity here. Bye-bye.